mention it. I, I might look a little familiar to you. There's some of you might recognize me. There's a there's a movie uh, that's out in theaters uh, right now. So doing very well. It's uh, it's it's uh, a film that you might have seen. Uh, a knock at the cabin. If you saw knock at the cabin, I might look. Yeah, that's that's right. If you saw knock at the cabin, I might look a little familiar to you. I saw that movie too. So you know you might have you might have seen me in at the bathroom getting popcorn or something like that. It's really, really good. Really. Check it out. All right, looks like we are ready to take off our flying time today to Phoenix. One hour and thirty seconds. Case of a water landing, your seat cushion may be used. As looks like we're moving now. Device. All right, folks, as we get uh, moving along here, once again, welcome. Thank you for spending some time with us here today. We're moving. At Universal Studios Hollywood. Uh, Mark, I'm going to be your tour guide. Anyway, uh, we're here inside Studio Tour. That this is the world famous. And it's cold out Universal and it's starting Studios to get freezing out there, which is a good thing I bring my really jacket with me so I don't get cold. Well. Big time Wearing like inside the, the outdoor attraction, right? That way I don't get freezing oh, up as long as I keep my jacket with me. I'm surprised my red jacket matches my hat and my red tights and a white tights and a red belt as well. Now, okay, now let's get ready to the tour. Even though Harley. I know you guys are excited to get on the tour, but first, a few safety rules. A couple of quick things to keep in mind as we roll along. First and most importantly, remain seated at all times, keeping your arms and legs inside of the vehicle. If you have any need for assistance, for instance, if you drop something valuable out of the tram, if you just can't wait to use the restroom, if you have a medical emergency, please pull the red cord located overhead in the center of the vehicle. The we'll stop. I'll come back to help you out. It's important to remember that the movie studio is private property, and in no time are you allowed to exit this vehicle without our assistance. So any difficulties at all, pull that red cord, we'll take care of things. Also, please, no use of selfie sticks is permitted, and no smoking is allowed at any time. That includes e-cigarettes. All right, enough of that as we get rolling along. First, uh, a little but bit I'm, of history. But I'm keeping going. I'm holding this a the tripod right now. In Universal Woody, was founded Woody Woodpecker. in 1912. Never forget him. Uh, I don't get Carl why would he be retired? I wish they were bring him back. So back on the East Coast it, of the United Universal States. is never the same without Woody Woodpecker. The industry in this country started was in and around New York City, but in those early days, they could only film scenes outside, lit by the sun. They didn't have the technology to be able to film scenes indoors under artificial light, and that's one of the main reasons that the early film industry relocated here to Southern California. A lot more beautiful, bright, sunny weather. They can work out doors year round and get a lot more done. So in 1914, Carl only bought out his partners, packed up his operation, came out here, and heard that we're going to explore today. There's almost 400 wow. acres of property here. This tour guide and really into talking a lot of details and education facts and stuff. Fire department. Well, uh, we that makes one of us. The LA County Sheriff's Department. We have our own zip code. But Tahine, that's our second oldest and largest soundstage. Some really memorable things that a film that everybody might know. In the first Jurassic Park movie, the very first one, if you remember the scene where the SUV is falling down through the branches of the tree as they scramble to get away from it, that entire scene filmed inside Stage 14. Stage 14 was also used for scenes in one of my all time favorite scary movies, The Thing, directed by John Carpenter, starring Kurt Russell. To your right hand side, digits 16 through 19. The first two on your right, 16 and 17, currently in use by a brand new show starring Kaylee Cuoco from The Big Bang Theory. The name of that new show is Based on a True Story. I don't know if it actually is based on a true story, but the name of the show is, quote, Based on a True Story. Uh, 16, 17, and 18 on the right, used by uh, Mindy Kaling's, uh, one of the top rated shows on Netflix, uh, Never Have I Ever. And stage 19, the last one there on the right hand side, used not long ago by director Christopher Nolan for his upcoming film Oppenheimer, starring, amongst many others, Robert Downey Jr. Stage 19 was also used for a couple of different shows over the last few years, starring Ted Danson, uh, Mr. Mayor, as well as the show he was on just before that, The Good Place, that also starred Kristen Bell. The small buildings to the left are offices for some very big production companies. Pascal Pictures, they co-produced the last three Spider-Man movies with Tom Holland. They have offices over there. Seven Bucks Productions, if you see those signs on your left, that's a production company of Dwayne The Rock Johnson, creator of the show The Young Rock on NBC. Right next door to him, Monkey Paw Production. That's a production company of Academy Award winner Jordan Peele in theaters recently with his movie Nope. 
starring Daniel Kaluuya and Kiki Palmer. And Bungalow 5195 on your left was once the office and one of the most influential filmmakers of all time, the incomparable Sir Alfred Hitchcock. Director of classics like Psycho, The Birds, Rear Window, Vertigo, many of them. Alfred Hitchcock has had three of his movies named among the top 50 of all time by the American Film Institute. Definitely one of the greatest directors ever. A couple of our newer, more modern sound stages here to your left, uh, stages 25 and 26. 25, currently in use by the NBC show Lopez vs. Lopez, starring George Lopez and his adult daughter Mayan Lopez. At stage 26, which is the left-hand side of this complex on, your le on, on the left-hand side, uh, if you look to that complex, to the right-hand half of it, American Auto is inside stage 26, filming their second season on NBC. To your left-hand side, a little bit of our Metropolitan sets uh, being used recently by a, a major A-list feature film that will be out uh, sometime next year. We're not, a, not allowed to tell you anything about it, but they just broke down over there. Uh, they have had those sets completely decorated and dressed. They look sort of like a Chinatown uh, neighborhood in, uh, I don't know in what city, but it was all dressed up to look like a, uh, a, a Chinatown sort of uh, neighborhood. Now, I mentioned Alfred Hitchcock just a little while ago. He is just one of many legendary directors that have had long associations with Universal Pictures. Steven Spielberg is another one that comes to mind. Guillermo del Toro, Spike Lee, Jordan Peele, Elizabeth Banks. But you can't talk about great directors at Universal and not mention Mr. Peter Walton. It's the original King Kong that, that made me want to direct movies. I saw that movie on TV when I was about eight or nine years old, and I wanted to become a film. Now, as we make our way back to Skull Island, it's going to be a very comfy ride. It remains seated at all times. Secure all those items. And have those glasses ready to go. All right, glasses on, everybody. Glasses on. We are back on Skull.